Inclusive with its penalty provision for call drops announced by the Supreme Court, the telecom regulator has reiterated that it will not shy away from protecting consumers. Prerna caught up with the TRAI chairman on dealing with call drops. Aris Sharma told CNBC TV 18 that a consultation paper may be in the works if deemed fit. Not just that, he's also insisted that all issues surrounding net neutrality should be brought under a consultation process as well. Take a look. We think that uh, the, uh, the uh, TRI, as per the TRI Act, has the mandate and the duty to protect the interest of the consumers. Sure. And this regulation was brought essentially with that objective and end. Uh, we, uh, while the regulation has been quashed, I think we will continue to protect the interest of the consumers. So we are now deliberating within TRI as to what should be the uh, road ahead for us. And we will come uh, sort of with that uh, proposal as and when uh, we take that uh, call and decision. But what would be the other means? I mean, do I, we expect... I, uh... As I said, we are still deliberating the issue. There could be many other uh, sort of uh, things which, which could, could come in. And uh, as of now, we have not come to any... Uh, conclusion. We soon hope for a you know consultation paper being floated uh, uh, to protect the consumer yeah, interest. Certainly, in case try decides to do that, to as so. I said, we have not come to any decision as to what should be the next course of action. But in case we decide to do any take any action uh, or any kind of other uh, uh, thought which we have, we will bring it out in form of a consultation paper. I think the next uh, key thing to watch out for would be the net neutrality paper, but this time it will be a pre-consultation. So just wanted to understand why a pre-consultation on net neutrality? Well, net neutrality is an extremely important issue uh, in the today's context and, and from our country's context. And, and we wanted that all the related issues of net neutrality are brought out in the consultation paper. As I explained to you, a consultation paper is essentially a document which sets out the context and background of an issue and essentially what could be the appropriate questions which should be asked to the service providers. Of course, we have a residual question also where we say any other thoughts which you may have. But no, at the same like time, we did not want, because this is an extremely important issue, we did not want that the consultation paper should be inadequate in terms of the questions which it is asking. Okay. So therefore, we wanted to capture all the issues which are relevant for the purpose of this consultation paper so as to improve the quality of the consultation. And hence, we added another stage. And this is not a new thing which has happened. There have been other issues in the past where we have had pre-consultation. Sure. So that is why we are using pre-consultation as a mechanism to finally what we put out as a consultation paper is comprehensive and tackles all the issues.